Yo, peoples, Kyushu92 here with yet another iteration of Kyushu Views. Onwards to the next episode of One Piece, so let's get it started! Break it, break it, break it. So last we left off with One Piece, uh, Yasu, Tono Yasu, we come to find out that he was actually the former daimyo of Hakumai, Yasuye, Shimotsuki Yasuye, former daimyo of Hakumai who makes a living as a male geisha. His name is Shimotsuki Yasuye. With him being as high up as he is right now, how is it they managed to actually pull him up from the ground? I'm, t I'm asking the wrong questions. And Yasuye is just straight up talking trash to Orochi. Zoro's Fury, the truth about the smile. Doesn't the formulation of those letters seem familiar? Seriously, this man is laughing like a legend. What a revelation, huh? It's just a prank, bro. Talk to this man! You had a great debt to Odin, but you seized the position of Shogun by a cunning trick. It was unacceptable. Daimyo and people from every region drew their swords without hesitation. But the monster named Kaido got in the way of their retaliation. And the land of Wano was consumed in flames. Yo, Yasuye dropping that truth. That fake news that Orochi tried to put out. It ain't working no more. Orochi was a bigger coward than I thought. You want me to recite the curse that binds your heart? <laughs> A man of such small caliber shall never know the taste of Odin for as long as he shall live. This is something else. You don't see Kaido smiling all that often, so this definitely has piqued his attention. Odin, Sama, and Yasuye were just like sworn brothers. See, his body's in shadow like this. That's how it should be in all these other moments. Not showing his eyes and just, like, slightly reduced brightness. That's how you keep him in shadow. They should have did that when they showed him the la in the last episode. And it looks like Kyori, Zoro, and Toko, along with Brooke, have made it to the capital, finally. And you got Big Mom making her way over there. All the way to Udon, still. You know, this has been a while since we last seen them uh, making their way towards the prison. Yeah, it seems Yasuye is trying to cover for the rebellion in Wano. If you guys notice, he's trying to make it seem like he's the one who orchestrated this whole thing. So he's trying to divert attention from everyone else so they can still do the thing they need to do. He gave a new rendezvous point. See? He tricked everybody. Yo, the music! For 20 years, no one could chop off Kaido's head. But this time, cover your children's eyes. The last daimyo who served under Kozuki, I mean, Ebisu Town's happy-go-lucky guy, We'll cross over to the other side. How are you gonna go on break when the shot fires? Here it is. Hakumai, land of Wano. Mmm. This. So this is all of the Akazai 9 when they were younger. Those who support him must be the best samurai in the land. This is a horrible thing for a daughter to have to see. I'm sorry if I'm not saying anything at all. This is just... This is a moment. <sighs> My hatred for Orochi knows no bounds. But now, now you all knew, now you all will know. You all are going to find out why. You all will know why they laugh. They're all crying. People from Ebisu Town are always smiling. Because even when they're hurt or sad, they can't let it show on their faces. All facial expressions other than a smile were taken away from them. And now all they can do is laugh. Because of what Kaido and Orochi brought here. It's a fruit called Smile. Now you know. Next episode, Toko's Tears, Orochi's Pitiless Bullets. Now you know. You know why the people of Ebisu Town laugh all the time. You know why Yasu laughs all the time. Why Toko laughs all the time. It's because of the smiles. And they have, like he already said, they have no control over it. And just like when I read through this chapter, when it showed this moment, 
I, I, I couldn't say anything. That's why you probably don't hear me saying far, uh, too much during this whole episode, because I I knew what this was leading to. I, I couldn't, like, normally when those that know me and all my viewers who watch my One Piece reactions know that I always do voices for everything that's going on in One Piece. But this moment right here was one where I just could not do it. I couldn't, when everyone started laughing at Yasuye, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't show the laugh or any moments when it was going on. I couldn't even, I couldn't even voice them laughing because Yasu is awesome. And here, I was just as speechless. I knew it was going to leave me feeling that ex <sighs> I knew it was going to leave me feeling that exact same way because I like Yasu that much as a character. So, sorry if I don't say too much about it, but it's just that the same feelings I had reading that chapter are very present here in this episode. It was a great episode, but it's also one that I, I just couldn't react to too much with a whole bunch of other feelings because I knew what was going to happen. And to see it animated like this, it just... Those same feelings are, are coming back, so yeah, but uh, now you know why the people of Ebisu Town smile. It's not much more I can say, but this was a great episode, but uh, there's more on the way for you guys. For all of you anime-only viewers, there's a... Uh, quite a bit more on the way so overall i thought this was a great episode very emotional because i knew what was going to happen but i knew i had to see this episode through and get through it because we can't get farther if i don't but overall uh rest in peace yasu you wonderful wonderful father of one piece so that's all i got for you guys there's not much more i can go on otherwise i'll start getting emotional because i i could i couldn't I had a hard time with that chapter when I was reading through it. It's just I couldn't. But overall, good episode. So with that being said, hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. And if you're new to my channel for the first time, maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you find my content worth your time. I'm always looking to entertain more and more people every day. And it helps me realize and get my dream of doing this full time for you guys and do this all the time. It brings that ever closer, so it's much appreciated if you're able. So with that being said, have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later peoples.